visible the carnage on our roads with our bodies on the streets to force the decision makers to make our streets fit for humans. That's our simple purpose. So thank you for coming today to do that. Look at this line of red crosses in front of us. It's not just Jerome Russell, rest in peace, that we're marking tonight, but we're marking all of the dead in Islington who have died this year from traffic pollution and inactivity diseases caused by transport. These 50 crosses are just a sixth of the pile of coffins that lie, lie in, 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 this, in homes across Islington this year and next year and the year after and the year after. It is not acceptable. We must bring this carnage to an end. Just look at it. Think of the families of all these people in across Islington tonight. Their sons, their daughters, their family members, their work colleagues. And that five minute silence that you, in a dignified way, lay down in front of this town hall to mark, you are making a tribute to them and are demanding an end to it. We, as Stop King Cyclists, tonight have three clear demands for the three levels of government that are responsible for the roads here. Island Council. Like many councils across London in my 25 years, they all say the same. Oh, we're in favour of cycling, we're in favour of action transport, blah, blah, blah. They produce cycling strategies, they produce transport strategies. And then you ask them, how many metres did you put in last year? How many metres did you put in over the last five years? How many metres did you put in over the last ten years? Is in the council, when they have to answer that question, in 20 years, of saying that they're in favour of cycling, they haven't built a single protected cycling. Shame on you, Islington Council. Shame on you, Islington Council. And they, they, they say that we want to do it, but oh, we haven't got the money. They're cutbacks. Well, I think it's important to note, in response to the councillors who said today that they want to do, but they haven't got the money. Island Council, in the last seven years, have more than doubled their cash reserves. It's gone from a figure of something like 160 million to 270 million, sitting in their coffers, not being spent. That's over a quarter of a billion pounds, while these people are dying day after day after day. What should we say? Shame on you, Islington. Shame on you, Islington. So we demand the, the equivalent of what a few councils in London, like Walton Forest and Enfield, have done. They have put in many Hollands in their boroughs, and we want many Hollands in Islington. And not, our, not just many Hollands, but a comprehensive protected network that links the many Hollands and this protected cycling that the Mayor is putting in, and we want that done within five to ten years. At the rate Islington going, it'll be 2,500 before we have a decent cycling network in Islington for our kids, for our elderly, and for our disabled. And remember that the, what is Kizizdin's current situation and policies are doing, they are imprisoning our youth, our kids, they're imprisoning our elderly, and they're imprisoning our disabled. If the roads aren't fit for humans, those people are not on our streets. If you walk along Islington Street, they're empty of disabled people cycling, they're empty of pensioners cycling, and they're empty of kids. That is not acceptable. We are stealing their youth, and we're just stealing a happy elderly uh, old age from the people of Islington. So Islington says there's an open door for cycling. That's what the councillor in charge said yesterday in response to this problem. Oh, we've got an open door. Look at it there behind me. Well, there's no point of an open door if a single cycle track hasn't gone through it in 20 years. Shame on you, isn't in Council. <laughs> but we also have demands of the Mayor of London. Yes, the Mayor has produced a five-year plan to get the dangerous HEVs off our, our roads and make them safer. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. When we were formed four years ago, our first demand was an end to blind HGVs. The mayor said we were ridiculous, Andrew Gilligan mocked us, he said we would close London down. What a joke. What we want, and they found six months later, they found a way to do half of what we wanted. 
They have found a way to call all the boroughs together and require HGVs to have safety mirrors. That was implemented. And around the death rate from HGVs has gone down by around 30%. That's a good step in the right direction. But well, we can't wait another five years for the mirrors plan to be implemented. We can't have a cyclist die every month for the next five years. We can't have pedestrians killed every week for the next five years. We can't have their families crying and attending inquests and funerals for the next five years whilst we wait for that. So our call to the mayor is do the same again. Pull the boroughs together immediately and require all HGV trucks entry London to have safe CCTV implemented on them. Now, Mr. Mayor, thank you. And finally, whilst we have a disgraceful government, both Labour and Tory governments in the last 20 years have done damn all. They announced a couple of million quid every few months to say, oh, we're doing something about it, while thousands of millions are spent on roads and transport. Both Labour and the Tory governments at the last general election a few months ago had a disgraceful manifesto with buttons for cycling and thousands of millions for roads. So we must call on Jeremy Corbyn, who is an Islington MP, and we call on John MacDonald at the next at the, when the budget comes in a few weeks' time, we want them to demand real money for cycling, and real money is three billion pounds a year for cycling. Labour, we want that. And the same goes out to Chancellor. Three billion years, not buttons, we want. What do we want? Three billion. What do we want, Jeremy Corbyn? Three billion. Thank you. So please write to them. Please put pressure on them. We're fed up with the buttons. We want real money. And finally, uh, just a small note for Jesse Norman, who is the Transport Minister sponsor for Cycling. Mr. Norman, you say you want to protect cyclists. You could do one thing tomorrow. You could sign a piece of paper that does the commencement order that allows the TFL to enforce the cycle lanes in London. Sign that order, Mr. Me Mr. Norman, tomorrow morning, and stop the crocodile tears like the crocodile tears of Labour Islington. You can do something, do it now, do it tomorrow morning, sign that commencement order, and allow enforcement to stop the HGVs going into our, into our lanes. So, thank you. So I want to finish and say on a positive, there is a bike lash going on across um, the tabloids at the moment. That is something we should be excited about. That is something we should be grateful for. Because it shows that the road lobby are so frightened of what you and I and us, all of us around here campaigners are achieving. We've got London Mayor moving with cycle protected cycle lanes. We've got them moving on 20 mile per hour zones. They're getting frightened that we could actually say we could have a city fit for humans. So that awful backlash from the tabloids, those hypocritical tabloids who are actually calling for today for, um, what do they call it, for uh, uh, registration for cycles. What a joke. Those are the same tabloids calling for the elimination of speed cameras across London and across Britain that are actually responsible for saving lives. So the bike lash is a positive. The die-ins in bank helped close bank. The die-ins outside TFL helped force TFL to bring protected cycle lanes. The die-ins in Oxford Street helped the mayor close the bridge to close Oxford Street. We are beginning to win. And that's why Stop King Cyclists this year have decided we're making it, we're making inroads with the mayor in London. We want more, but we must demand action on the on the boroughs across London, and we want that this year, and we want it this month, because this month in boroughs across London, the the political parties, the Labour, Tory, and Lib Dems who have done nothing, are drawing up their manifestos, and now's the moment when they're visible to you guys. Let's keep the winning going. Let's get the boroughs on board, and let's give three cheers for cycling. Hip hip. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Thank you everybody.